you love movies and movie discussions, you've come to the right place. Who am I, you ask? I am the Wiz! And I'm here to review the 1963 wartime classic, The Great Escape, starring Steve McQueen, James Garner, Charles Brosnan, Richard Attenborough, James Coburn, and Donald Pleasance, directed by John Sturgis. Yeah, like I mentioned last week, I decided on war films for this week for some reason, and I just ended up watching both films that were based in POW camps. That really was not my intention. It actually turned out pretty well, because the first movie I saw, which is Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, was pretty much a downer. It was, uh, it was a, n not a happy film. <laughs> But you would think that films in POW camps would not be happy films. And you'd be right. And yet, what's weird about The Great Escape, if you have not seen it, I, I know a lot of you probably have, but, but if you haven't seen it, this is actually kind of a fun film. It was actually really weird watching this and going, huh, I'm having a good time. Really? <laughs> it's like I'm having a good time watching a POW camp movie? Wow. All right. Well, here we go. But let's just get into this. Let's get into the review of The Great Escape, directed by John Sturges. Before that, let's get into the plot. Imprisoned during World War II in a German POW camp, a group of Allied soldiers are intent on breaking out, not only to escape, but also to draw Nazi forces away from battle to search for fugitives. Among the prisoners that are determined to escape are an American captain, Virgil Hiltz, played by Steve McQueen, and British squadron leader, Roger Bartlett, played by Richard Attenborough. And the way they try to escape is by digging a tunnel underneath the grounds of the prison and outside into the woods. All right, well, that is the plot. So let's get to my first point for The Great Escape. My first point is, it's Ocean's Eleven in the POW camp. I understood the plot in the, well, before I watched the film, which was this is about a bunch of soldiers trying to escape a POW camp. And that's a about as much as I really knew about the film. I didn't know if it was a really serious film. I didn't really know it was a really dark film. And what I was surprised to learn about this movie is that this is essentially the formula that a heist movie has. And what do I mean by that is a heist movie usually is about they have a crime. They spent the vast majority of the film setting up the crime, getting all the pieces together and, and finding out how to actually perform the crime perfectly to get away with it. This movie is exactly that. Like, if, if it wasn't for the fact that they were trying to break out of something, this would be a heist film, essentially. And it's also Ocean's Eleven because of the really good cast in this movie. I mean, look at the cast that we have here. We, of course, have Steve McQueen. We have James Garner, Charles Brosnan, Richard Attenborough, James Coburn, Donald Pleasance. We have a lot of really good actors in this movie that uh, have gone on to do great work outside of this movie as well. So it's really an all-star cast here. A lot of them are very charming. They're very funny, very witty in this movie. It, it is really just a fun movie, not just watching them do what they do, but also interacting with each other throughout the entire films. And my second point, this is surprisingly fun and entertaining. This is actually a very fun film. It's very entertaining. A lot of it has to do with the actors and how they perform their roles and who the actors are. These are very charismatic, very likable actors throughout the entire film. But honestly, the best thing about this film is that for like a three hour movie, I was just never bored from this movie. It was a lot of fun to watch and it was surprisingly fun. I just think that it was a little surprising how fun it was because it's set in such a serious place. But the way that they portrayed the film is just like, oh, I guess we're gonna break out of this one, huh boys? Yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. That's how they really portrayed the film. I would say I was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting something a little more serious, but even though I didn't get it, I actually like what I saw of it. Would I call it a popcorn movie? I'm not entirely sure I would say it's a popcorn movie. There is a little more to this movie than that, but it's definitely entertaining. And for someone who wants to watch a war film, but doesn't want it that serious or that bloody or that violent so i would say this would be a great movie to watch and my third point i understand this is based on a true story but what a downer of an ending i guess i'm pretty much spoiling the ending and like yeah i know it's about a 60 year old film so if you haven't seen the film and you don't want to be spoiled you should probably skip this one but this was a, a pretty much a downer of an ending and that's mainly because a, a good majority of the characters in this film die or get captured and sent back into the camp I get it's based off of a true story, but I think this was a very, very fictionalized version of it. You know, honestly, I'm of two ways of it. I think for the tone of the film, it's kind of off. But then on the other hand, I don't mind sad endings in movies. I don't mind endings where the heroes don't get what they want. But 
it just seemed a little odd. I, I know one character did make it, but it wasn't really the character that I would have been like, oh, that that's the character that you want to survive. Honestly, I'm of two minds. Would I change the ending? Not necessarily. I don't think it's a bad ending, but I, I do feel like it was too much of a downer of an ending. I think that's the boss of the film, the, the, guy, the, the guy who plays the big X, Richard Attenborough. I think if he only died in some tragic way and then the rest made it, I've been like, oh, okay, that sucks, but the other guys made it. But literally only one person who escaped made it. And I was like, oh. One that you know of. I know there's probably another 10 that they don't show on screen. Again, it was a downer of an ending. Does it hurt the movie? I don't really think so. But I, for something that was so fun and very entertaining, it was kind of surprising that it was such a downer. And here are the footnotes for The Great Escape. If this were remade today, what would be the all-star cast that would be doing this? I gotta be honest with you. I guess I'm of the mindset that there really aren't movie stars anymore, so this would be a very tough thing to do. And on top of that, would you really want a remake of this? We'll, we'll put it this way. Like, first off, you're gonna remake this movie, it's gotta be set in World War II. If you have one that's set in the Iraq War, that'd be way too serious right now of something to then make it into like a, a fun and entertaining movie. You'd have way too many people upset by this. I, I think that would be a bad move on top of that. Who would you want to put who acts right now into a remake of this? I, I'm not even really sure. But then again, when it comes to like younger actors, I am not very versed in those. So that might be my problem too. That's a question for you guys. If they were to remake this today, who would be in the all-star cast? Let me know. Overall, I am going to recommend The Great Escape. I think it's an entertaining movie, a surprisingly fun movie. I, I will say it constantly. I'm actually surprised how fun this movie is. And for a three-hour film, I was really never bored while watching this. It was very entertaining. I do think the ending is surprisingly a downer for such a... I wouldn't say it's a happy movie, but it is a very upbeat kind of movie, even though it's set in the PAW camp. I guess if I'm going to choose what my favorite performance in this movie is, I would probably have to say Richard Attenborough. No, actually, you know, James Garner is actually pretty good as the person who steals everything in this movie. I thought he was pretty charming as well in this. So it would be him, and then it would be Richard Attenborough. And, you know, I kind of like Charles Brosnan too in this. I like Steve McQueen as well in this movie, but the whole cast is very good in this movie. So overall, I'm going to recommend The Great Escape, a very fun and very entertaining movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's also in the Criterion Collection if you haven't gotten there as well. Now, if you want my full review on this movie, you can go to my website at, at IamTheWiz.com. You'll have my full written review right on the site, along with a link to the video that has this review that you've just listened to. Thank you for listening to this review. If you want to know what we're reviewing in the next couple days, you can look on the screen right now to see what's coming up next. If you like what you heard, go ahead and leave a like on this video. If you want to discuss your opinion on the film or the review itself, please leave a comment. And if you want to hear more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for listening. I will talk to you next time.